Today we're going to talk about some of the forces that we have to overcome when we're riding our bikes. Since we have power meters, we're, we're looking at power data all the time, we're measuring power in watts. Uh, but unfortunately, the absolute watt number is not necessarily going to be a determinant of performance. What we need to understand is what forces we're overcoming. And the main force that we're overcoming, especially when the road even remotely tilts upward, is gravity. So we take that watt value and we divide it by body weight. The easiest way to do this is to take watts and divide by our body weight in kilograms. So we're gonna have two of, uh, of the clients that I work with that also happen to be employees of Stages uh, give us a little bit of demonstration on how that plays out on the road. So we have two people, we have Pat and we have Andy. And Pat weighs 179 pounds, which is 81.4 kilograms. Andy is a little bit thinner. He weighs 153 pounds, which is 69.5 kilograms. And through some testing, we know both of their FTP or functional threshold power values. Uh, we know that Pat is 345 watts for FTP and Andy is 320 watts for FTP. So when you look at those two numbers, that 345 and 320, the expectation is that since Pat is producing more power, he's going to go faster. But that's not necessarily the case because as I mentioned before, we need to divide that number by body weight. So when we divide Pat's FTP number, that 345, by his 81.4 kilograms of body mass, we see that at threshold, he's producing 4.2 watts per kilogram. Andy, on the other hand, even though he's only producing 320 watts at FTP, we're dividing that by his body mass, which is 69.5, and we see that he is actually producing more power at 4.6 watts per kilogram than Pat is. We're going to do two workouts today. The first workout is a set of micro intervals on rolling to flat terrain. And what you'll see is that Pat may have a little bit of an advantage there because he's able to produce more power. But for our second workout, we're going to do a couple hill repeats and you'll see that that's where that watts per kilogram number really starts to come into play. And even though he's producing less power overall, my expectation is that Andy's going to climb the hill a little bit faster than Pat because he's producing more power for his body weight. 